Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Rise of a Pirate God. So if you're looking at the screen and you're thinking, Hey, this doesn't seem right. This wasn't where we left off. Hey, very astute of you. Uh, there was a little bit of a recording snafu. Uh, but uh, with the power of YouTube and somebody else's uh, playthrough, let's catch you up on the few uh, minutes that you might have missed. You won't get away with this, LeChuck. Whatever it is you're doing, I've opened the crossroads themselves to stop you. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Ah. Uh. Why didn't you just get the merfolk to do it? Merfolk? Uh, to be honest, those fish people creep me out. Besides, manipulating you was much more fun. I was counting on your abilities to bring the sponge to me. So you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> Voodoo lady said. The voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her Voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride? Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Creepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Wonder Bunny. No. <laughs> Elaine is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! Wow, riveting. Okay, let's get to it. Aha! Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Well, that stinks. Problem. Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless specter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Freepwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you're about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer. Oh yeah, I did do that. Uh, Lady Boo, let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? 
She... She zapped me. What? Elaine. She's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas. But what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on a lane. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait. That sounds kind of familiar. The Voodoo Lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan! Thanks. Hmm. So that's a lot to take in. Elaine's... Elaine clearly has some idea. At least it looks that way. Um, feel kind of bad about Morgan, though. All right, well, we've got more work to do, so we can't really just. Here I come, LeChuck. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, LeChuck, you caught me off guard once by making Elaine spray me with root beer. Are you ready this time? Ready for what, sweetums? Uh-oh. Okay, so clearly that's not gonna work. Um, so... Let's go exploring again, I guess. Anything going on here at the gateway? Caleb? What are you doing over here? Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroad should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life, and all these reaps will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and the Chuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Uh, are you the only thing over here? Oh, hello there. Where's this go? <coughs> uh, okay. Oh, Mr. Winslow. Captain Threepwood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. 
Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. This is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuk fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship. And then, he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... No, oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. Mm -mm. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? You're still over the sa the Mr. mating grounds? Yes, sir. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Why is there a monkey here? Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys at all. Hmm. What happened to the narwhal? What happened to the narwhal? After LeChuck knocked me off, he simply set it adrift at sea. Hmm. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Okay, well, I'll have to come back. I don't know if that's going to be of any help to me. Alright, well, if there's a rip here, there's probably likely to be rips elsewhere. Let's go see if there's one in some of these other locations. Let's check the treasure hunt. Uh, huh. Ooh, treasure chest. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It's too dark to actually see what's in here. So much for ghost powers. Hey, here's a monkey. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Oh, they are hypnotized. That's a problem. Morbid. I don't even have the bodily strength to lift a feather. Hmm. Guess there's nothing I can really do here. Uh, let's check the sword fight area. Oh, crab! Fool Treepwood, what have you done? What? Ah, talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, the chuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. I think this is like a Pirates of the Caribbean reference or something. But... I, I've never seen the movie, so I the only reason I think I know that is because of Kingdom Hearts. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans <coughs> for Las Bonjo Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Uh, he didn't fool- well, speak for yourself. Hey, speak for yourself. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body, so they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. Uh, you mean the, the La Sponja Grande? You mean La Sponja Grande? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now, find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand spirit gum. It 
It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was in prison back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh. I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's another rip. Let's see where this one goes. Jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yep, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? Well, that's exactly the way I remember you. Yeah, great, bug eye. Thank you. Um. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Ah, oh, jeez. So I get to make faces at WP, although I don't know what that'll do. Um... Scary! You just screwed up my concentration. Hmm. Beer. Yikes! I better not stand under that. I don't want it splashing down on me. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, Pipsqueak? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. Uh, let's see. You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead. But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry. <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. Uh, things been quiet? Bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Hmm. Why is LeChuck committing undefined acts of evil on the citizens of Flotsam? He thinks we're hiding that voodoo lady, Chippy, and he won't take no ouch stop stabbing me for an answer! <laughs> okay. Uh, you ever seen a goat before? You ever seen a ghost before? Have I ever? I'm a judge, laddie. My every waking hour is haunted by the harrowing curses of the despicable reprobates I've sent to the gallows. To be frank, your cheery spirit is something of a welcome respite. Yeah, I'm much more of an existential crisis ghost than a mind-numbing horror spirit. All that wailing really does a number on your throat. All right. I'll talk, talk to you later. later. Well, at least now I know where my body is, but I don't think I can just repossess it. My body, all right. What is it doing here? This is your wake. We were going to erect a statue in your honor after the pox was cured, but that caused LeChuck to return to pillaging and plundering, and people were calling to burn your body in effigy instead. In the end, we settled somewhere in the middle and decided you'd become our new dartboard. <laughs> um... I don't think that's very sanitary, but we can't just reclaim our body yet either, so let's leave. We really need to find that locket. The last place we saw it was on the, uh, 
screaming narwhal while it was over the layer of the manatee. So let's actually check back in that rip. Maybe there's more exploring we can do around there. Oh, gotta go this way. Come on. Hmm. Man overboard. Good heavens, sir. I think that's what's left of Dukava's ship. The Voodoo Lady's locket. It's stuck up there in that seaweed. But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. So there's the locket. Might need a little help here, though. Oh, hey, a fishnet. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Uh, this being the real world, I still can't touch anything. So this fishnet has to stay here. Yeah, pity that. Um. Come here, locket. Hmm. Hey, Clam, can you help me out? Huh. Okay, rude. Hmm. Well... Let's see. Let's just... Hmm. Interesting. Hello? Swim away! I'll zap you with this... Ooh, that sounds familiar. Anemone? Kai brush? Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? No. Spinner K has been destroyed. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? What you should be doing, hiding from him. Oh, man, what did he do to you? Nothing yet, thank Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward, if not a bit body, but he's got a good heart. No, oh, not sweet Reggie, I mean LeChuck. Oh, I see. He destroyed Spinner K. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. Uh, I really need your help. I need your help out here. For what? Well, unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him! I'll stay in here, thank you, where it's safe. Can I get you to come Can I out? Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. <laughs> well, maybe Reggie. Wait, Winslow? That salty dog. Despite our taxonomic differences, Winslow understands me. Huh. I wonder how that works, um, logistically. But now I'll never see him again. Hmm. All right, I'll be back. back. Later. Be careful. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's got a crush. Let's see. Up we go. Hey, Winslow. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. So, an enemy's down there. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your... Um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem! A haiku, even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the Sashimi Islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. I'll uh, I'll go verify that for you. Now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's see, I'll tell an enemy about the letter. Are you still in there, an enemy? As long as Lachuk is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Winslow dropped you a note. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. It's a love note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. Clam, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> foot. Oh, I'm sorry I made light of you not having two feet. Okay. Awesome. Holy clam bubbles. Lock it saved. I say. Captain Threefoot, my beloved has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for our <clears throat> reunion. Mizzens. I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. <laughs> What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Winslow, the locket isn't a sign from Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important then. Most? Well... I'll hang it here, as if it were our map! Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? Let this locket lead you back to your body, the way our map has led us to adventure! So it's certainly not going to do that with the voodoo lady's picture on it, but what if I give Winslow this? Some vacation photos, Winslow? Ah, yes. A lovely picture of your ghost. You might want to consider framing it and hanging it in a nice crypt somewhere. Um, not what I meant to do. Cover up the voodoo lady. Voila! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? Push the button, please. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. Hmm. Beautiful. Ooh. I don't remember my body being this cold. Hey! Great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. Uh, hold on. I'm sure we can talk this out. Well. All right, sir. I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. All right, Mr. let's Winslow? try this again. Yes, sir. Push the button, please. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Back for another round, zombie boy. Bail, dude. Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. Okay. This actually isn't so bad. Uh, looks like here's the chewing gum that I needed. Ew, gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Which I need. Ew, gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Um, I mean... Whoa, that is one big wad of gum stuck up there. Yeah, that's the spirit gum that I need. Uh... Well, this is an issue. Is that some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. Is that supposed to be a Shawshank Redemption type hint? Oh, hey, my hook. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Um, okay. Uh-oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Yeah, that means I'm going to separate soon. Um... Uh oh Yep. Hey, what happened? 
happen? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary? That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. Hmm. Well, I think we're probably still missing something here. Uh, let's see. Well, let's figure out what we're missing on the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more GSL and YTR fun. And don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. I'll see you guys next week for a little more fun here. So take care. Bye-bye.